Hi, I'm Han Stephenson from Dakota Angler and Outfitter, and today we're going to tie a Clink Hammer Special, a great searching dry fly pattern. Um, <clears throat> Ryan from the shop has been using it a lot the last couple years. I've used it on and off for quite a few years. Just a great fly to have in your box to search faster moving pocket water with and even coax some uh, fish out of slower moving water. It um, looks like an emerging caddis or a terrestrial stuck on the surface film. Um, I don't know always what they take it for, but it does uh, does work quite well. We're going to start with a uh, hook in the vise here. This is a Partridge Clink Hammer Special Hook, and it's uh, been bent a little bit right here to give us a little flat spot where the parachute uh, section of this fly is going to go. Uh, you can use other hooks, but this is probably the best hook uh, all around for this fly. I'm going to start by putting some thread on right behind the eye of the hook coating that area where the parachute's going to go. And then we'll start and tie in our parachute after I trim off my excess thread. We'll use poly yarn for the parachute uh, material. I'm going to use yellow here, uh, but you can use white or black or whatever the color uh, that you can see best is. I'm just going to tie that down and then stand it up get just a couple wraps up in front of it. For this tag end here I'm going to go back and trim that at an angle so that when I go back here and just kind of cover that yarn up creates a nice little taper. Stand in front of it a little bit more and then I'll actually parachute this now. Get pretty good post on there. So you got good working room for when your hackle's on there. Go back to the hook. Tie in some hackle. You want to use some pretty big hackle here. I'm going to use kind of a tannish colored hackle. Light tan. You can use grizzly or brown. Kind of play around with the color patterns. Just post that onto the post after tying it down to the hook. Now we'll wrap down to the back of the hook. We'll dub our body. We're going to do two different colors of dubbing. We're going to do a kind of an amber color on this fly but again you can vary all of this. I'm using Nature's Spirit Emergence Dubbing. Kind of an amber color. You want got kind of a nice tapered body to this. Bigger fly like this is going to take a fair amount of dubbing, but always start with less than you think you're going to need because you can always add more. Most people add way too much dubbing to their flies. So we're going to slide that noodle up. Just start at the back here. Let that get a little thicker as you go to the front of the fly. Got to finish dubbing the body here. I need just a little bit more dubbing. I'm going to bring that up until we get to that flat spot on the hook. At this point, I'm going to change colors. You could do a peacock curl thorax here. I'm going to use a uh, little ice dubbing, just cheat, something that looks pretty peacocky, but give a little darker dubbing for the thorax just to give a little contrast. We'll wrap that on both sides of the uh, post up to the eye. Come back. Can even add just a little bit more if we want. A little thicker thorax. I'll add just a tiny bit more. Okay, and now once I've got that last bit of dubbing on, I'm going to sneak up and put my thread back on the post. And at this point, I can go ahead and wrap my hackle. I'm going to start at the top of the post and wrap each wrap of hackle underneath the preceding wrap. Just wrap a good number of hackle wraps on there four or five and then take your thread and tie off underneath that hackle. Get that nice and securely tied off. Now I'll sneak under there and trim off my 
hackle. Now, here's the thing that uh, throws most people for a loop. I'm not going to tie off on the uh, the hook itself. I'm just going to trim up my uh, post a little bit here. I'm going to actually tie off underneath the hackle. You'll find that creates a little neater fly if you can actually whip finish underneath the hackle. So I'm going to do that right now. Instead of doing it on the hook down by the eye, which oftentimes leads to getting a lot of trapped hackle fibers up here near the eye of the hook. In this case, we avoid that by whip finishing underneath it. And that is a clean camera special. Trim up some loose dubbing fibers there. But a really effective dry fly, Ryan uh, Gabert at the fly shop has been fishing these a lot, both for trout and for carp. And it's just an awesome searching pattern. It doesn't have to imitate any one thing, but if you're just looking to see if there's some fish in a, a particular uh, stretch of stream, they'll often come up and take a look and eat this. So fill your boxes with these uh, for this summer, and you'll be glad you did. Again, I'm Hans Stephenson from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Please visit the website flyfishsd.com and check out the other patterns that are uh, on the blog.